In this video, we are going to solve a problem in symmetrical fault analysis using bus impedance matrix. Problem 1. A symmetrical fault occurs at bus 4 for the system shown. Determine the fault current using Z bus building algorithm. So, the single line diagram is given. It consists of 4 buses and it is given that the fault occurs at bus 4. The generator ratings are given 100 MVA, 20 KV and the reactance is 15 percentage and the transformer leakage reactance is given as 9 percentage and the line reactance is 10 percentage. So using this data, we are going to analyze the symmetrical fault using bus impedance matrix. Solution Step 1 For the given system, draw the reactance diagram. So from the single line diagram, we can draw the reactance diagram. So, how to draw the reactance diagram from the single line diagram? So, already we have a separate video for that. Kindly refer to it. So, now for this uh, single line diagram, the reactance diagram will be like this. So, for generator, reactance followed by the induced EMF and the transformer T1, line 1 and line 2, transformer T2 and generator G2. The values are given in per unit. So, for generator 1 and generator 2, 15 percentage is given as a reactance. So, it is J.15 per unit. And for transformer 1, it is 9 percentage. So, 0 0.09 per unit. And for line, it is 10 percentage. So, 0 0.1 per unit. Step 2 Obtain Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. Considering the reactance diagram which we uh, drawn in the previous step. In that the lines, the two lines are connected between bus 2 and bus 3, which consists of a reactant J.1. So, that two lines are parallel. So, we can apply the parallel combination of those two lines, parallel combination of that point 1. So, you will be getting J.05. So, using this reactance diagram, we are going to form the Z bus matrix using bus building algorithm. So, name the bus terminals like this and take this as a reference bus and there are four buses here. So, first starts with the reference bus, reference bus 2, bus 1, considering this reactance J.15, Z bus matrix is of order 1 cross 1 matrix J.15. And second, from the existing bus 1 to new bus 2, from bus 1 to bus 2, bus 1 become existing bus and bus 2 become new bus. Here we are considering J.09 reactants. So, you will be getting 2 cross 2 matrix here. So, in that 2 cross 2 matrix, Z11 will be directly taken from the previous step that is J.15 and simply copy paste this J.15 to Z12 and Z21 and this last value that is Z22 equal to the previous value either Z12 or Z21 you can take J.15 plus the new reactance value which we added in this step that is J.09. Adding this two, you will be getting the 2 cross 2 matrix like this J.24 as Z22. Then from second bus to third bus. Now the second bus become existing bus and the third bus is a new bus considering the reactance J.05. So now the matrix become 3 cross 3 matrix. In the 3 cross 3 matrix, this four parameters from the previous step. So, directly you can substitute simply copy paste this J.15 here, J.24 here, similarly in the column wise. And this final value either you take this 0.24 or this 0.24 substitute here plus the new reactance value which we considered in this step. Adding this two, you will be getting the Z33 value. So, and this is your 3 cross 3 matrix. And next step from bus 3 to bus 4. Bus 3 become existing bus, bus 4 is a new bus now. Considering the reactance J.09. So, now the matrix become 4 cross 4 matrix. In this 4 cross 4 matrix, this 3 cross 3 matrix you can take from the previous step and simply copy paste row wise and column wise. This final value, either from this value or this value, you can take 0 0.29 plus the new reactance which we considered in this step. 
that is 0 0.09 adding this to you will be getting the z44 value so the 4 cross 4 matrix will be like this and now from bus 4 to reference bus so 4 to 0 4 become existing bus to the reference bus considering the reactance j.15 now the matrix become 5 cross 5 matrix in that 5 cross 5 matrix you can substitute this 4 cross 4 matrix from the previous step and simply copy paste these values row wise and column wise and this final value you can either take this 0.38 or this 0.38 substitute here and plus 0.15 this 0.15 is the new reactants which we considered in this step adding this to you will be getting the 5 cross 5 matrix like this so in this problem there are four buses except the reference bus so the final z bus matrix must be of order 4 cross 4 matrix but but here we got 5 cross 5 matrix so what we need to do we need to apply the node elimination technique to reduce the 5 cross 5 matrix to 4 cross 4 matrix so that we are going to do now so using this formula zjk nu equal to zjk minus zj n plus 1 z n plus 1 k divided by z n plus 1 n plus 1 where n is equal to 4 total number of buses and the j varies from 1 2 3 and 4 similarly k so now the final matrix will be of this 4 cross 4 matrix which consists of 16 parameters so substituting in that formula if you consider z11 j become 1 k become 1 substituting in that formula and you will be getting z11 minus z j is 1 n is 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so z15 and z51 divided by z55 you can take this value from the previous matrix substitute here you will be getting j.1075 similarly z22 is j.131 similarly z33 equal to j.131 z44 equal to j.1075 and z12 equal to z21 and that is equal to j.172 and all the values we got using the formula now forming this values in matrix format you will be getting the final 4 cross 4 matrix step 3 obtain the fault current so consider the diagram 7 in equivalent circuit of the reactance diagram it consists of a voltage source and the 7 in impedance then the fault impedance at bus 4 the fault occurs so if is equal to v7 in divided by zqq plus zf where this q represents the bus at which the fault occurs so v is equal to one angle zero so the bus voltages are not specified in the problem so you need to consider it as one angle zero divided by zqq so q equal to four so it become z44 z44 value you can take from this uh, z bus matrix so which is j.1075 plus zf zf is the fault impedance the value is not given so it is 0 plus 0 so the fault current will be 9.3 angle minus 90 degree per unit now you can cross check the value of this j.1075 whether this value is correct you can directly cross check with the help of the reactance diagram so at bus 4 fault occurs so these reactants are in series adding all the reactances so j.15 plus j.09 plus j.05 plus j.09 which is parallel with this j.15 so parallel combination of that gives you j.1075 so that is equal to zqq then the answer is correct so actual fault current equal to per unit value into the base value of current so we calculated the per unit value of the fault current 9.3 angle 9, minus 90 degree into the base current value so base current can be calculated using the formula mva into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into kv so substitute the values which is given in the problem 100 mva and the kv is 20 so you'll be getting the actual current as 26846.7 ampere
step 4 obtain the post fault voltages so using the direct formula v1 power f equal to v1 naught minus z1 q i f where this v1 naught v2 naught vq naught are the pre fault voltages so in this problem the pre fault voltages are not specified so we have to assume it as one angle zero and this q is 4 the bus at which the fault occurs v1f is equal to v0 minus z14 if so v0 is one angle zero minus z14 directly you can take from the z bus matrix into fault current value substituting you will be getting 0 0.6056 per unit similarly v2f equal to 0.3686 per unit v3f is 0.2374 per unit v4f is equal to 0 per unit step 5 obtain post fault line currents so direct formula iij is equal to vi minus vj divided by zij series so for i12 v1 minus v2 divided by z12 substitute the values from the previous steps and z12 from the z bus matrix will be getting 2.634 per unit similarly i23 equal to 2.63 per unit and i34 equal to 2.637 per unit so this is how you need to calculate the post fault line current post fault voltage and fault current so this is how you need to analyze the symmetrical fault using bus impedance matrix